Hello and welcome to Messing About With Models. Today I'm going to show you Hornby's latest release, the Southern Railway Gangway Bogey Luggage Van. As regular viewers will know, I recently upgraded and detailed the old Triang Hornby model of this van uh, just before Christmas. But the announcement of the new model to, to the latest 21st century standards really excited me. Let's check out the review and model. First, a little bit of history about these vans. In the late 1920s, the Southern Railway was uh, converting uh, four coach suburban uh, coaches from the London South Western Railway into three coach DC electric units and for the new electrification schemes. The old bodies were mounted on new underframes, but the London South Western underframes were not discarded uh, and they were good enough to use for a series of gangway bogey luggage vans. And the first 50 of these were built at Ashford in 1928. There were a variety of, of different lengths and Hornby here have modelled the slightly longer ones which are diagram 3099 uh, for the aficionados there. The GBL vans were used largely on the western section of the Southern Railway but there were a few on the eastern section too working in parcel trains or occasionally in passenger trains on the Chatham main line. From 1931, the 1.30 a.m. newspaper train from Waterloo to the west of England included several new GBL vans. One for Devonport, one for Bude, one for Exeter, one for Ilfracombe, and two for Salisbury, of which one was worked forward to Exeter by a later train. Many were the uses to which these GBL vans were put, carrying newspapers, parcels, milk churns, or even bicycles. During the Second World War, a number of them were converted into stretcher uh, vans for use in uh, casualty evacuation trains. Later in the war, some of them were even converted to ambulance coaches. After nationalisation, British Railways then uh, painted them from the southern green that they'd originally been in to the British Railway standard Crimson Lake. Although the colours changed in 1956, only a handful are recorded as having been repainted into green. So they finished their days in Crimson Lake under the usual coat of dust and dirt. Of course, one of these, number 2464, achieved fame by being used on the 30th of January 1965 to convey the body of Sir Winston Churchill between Waterloo and Hanborough on the western region the van being formed in a special five-car Pullman funeral train. Hornby have modelled this model um, and so that uh, you too can replicate that. This particular model, numbered S2477S, was built in August 1931 at Ashford and was withdrawn in August 1959. Regular viewers of the channel will know that just before Christmas I upgraded and detailed and repainted uh, one of the old Triang um, models, the uh, gangway bogey luggage van that they first produced in 1958. Let's have a, a look at the model that I upgraded. If you want to see the um, full upgrade story, uh, check out the video in the link above. The problems with the old Triang model were that the roof profile was was wrong for the model. The doors and the hinges were um, quite a bit oversized because Triang, in the quest for play value, had opening doors. The bogies were just the standard Mark I bogies that Triang had at the time. In my upgrade, I've changed the wheels so that they would run on modern track change the couplings so they're not the massive great big bumpers that uh, were previously on there um, and fitted flush glazing and as you can see it's not a bad model for all of that however let's bring in The new 
model. As you can see, the roof is a much shallower profile than on the old Trying one. It is, of course, quite correct for this vehicle. We've also got um, the rain strips are much more accurately placed. And of course, we've got torpedo vents in the roof. As you can see, the glazing uh, is much better than certainly my attempt at flush glazing. We've also got a lot of detail uh, with the uh, brake wheel here and footsteps up at the end. And of course, as traditional, we've got sprung buffers. My view on sprung buffers is they're probably not, they're not really needed for modern double O gauge stock because our models don't actually have the buffers doing buffing, if that's a word. Um, they don't actually touch adjacent models to um, in when they're shunting and propelling and stuff like that. So we don't actually need them to be sprung. Obviously, if you're modeling in something like P4 and you're using three link couplings and you probably are reliant on the buffers, then that's all well and good. But as you can see, there's plenty of underframe detail. And the paint job is a lot better than the paint job I did. Lots of extra fine detail on the uh, ends of the coach, uh, ends of the van. Like I said, we've got the um, we've got the end footboards. We've got correct detailing all the way along the underframe. The bogies are exactly as they should be. The um, these vans were built on the underframes of some LSWR coaches. And so these bogies are the appropriate ones for those coaches. So who knows, maybe in the future, Hornby might uh, produce bogey LSWR coaches. running nice and smooth and um, all in all it's an excellent model uh, if you're modeling the southern region um, then you definitely need to get one of these in BR Crimson uh, there are two models and if you're modeling the southern railway then you'll need to get two in um, green as you can see, really nice touch is the door handles have been picked out in black. Um, and we've got some uh, sole bar lettering here and obviously indications for the handbrake wheel, etc. So it's a really fine um, detailed model. I got mine from Hereford Model Centre and uh, I'd certainly recommend getting uh, your products from them. And again, here's a comparison with what I was able to achieve with the old Hornby model. It's not too bad, but certainly uh, a massive improvement with the new Hornby model here. It would be nice if Formby offered this in the range with some weathering as well, because um, they pretty much got covered in dust and dirt and grime, and yeah, you, you couldn't see the base colour under them. All in all, it's an excellent model, and it's a great addition to Hornby's range of Southern Railway and Southern Region coaching stock. If you'd like to check out my other reviews, click on the link uh, on screen now. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be alerted when the next video is up. 
Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.